Yeah, if you ever want to read Scarsnick's life story, um, there's a really excellent book. Ballad of Torgir the Red. Hark, I shall sing you a tale of a Jarl brave and true warrior bold. Friend to his people and to his foes, wrath unrolled. Like a sturdy ship, his courage never leaked. Mighty was Jarl, Jarl Torgir of Clan Tusthrik. For a man so... Oh my god, this is so long. For a man so grand, the isles held plunder too few. So up Alba's, up Alba's shining waters, he sailed with his crew. Arriving at the city's golden... City of Golden Tower's walls, he raised, ravaged, and roared, and shook the Emperor's halls. But Nilfgaard knows how to suture strife with coin, and so out and so out cutthroats crept the Jarl in battle to join. Lured by the fattened Nilfgaardian purse, to Skellige sailed bandits, villains, and worse. Girdle for battle, the Jarl stood in his fort, yet Nilfs know no more honor than demon or chort. A catapult they brought against the Jarl's mighty keep, the walls crumbled, burying his warriors deep. An ocean of rubble swallowed men a great many. Here we named but a few of that noble company. The pilgrim tore Stig of Darver born, slumbering Sigvald, and the war witcher Gerd, the last Jarl's faithful guard. Wait, Gerd died down here? Like, we've heard mention of him. What's this do? Oh. It releases all the spooky ghosts is what it does. Well, shit. I know orcs grow with time slash fighting, but do goblins do as well? Yeah, functionally. The Ballad of Witcher Gerd. Righteous and brave of death never scared, such a man we had we in the Witcher Gerd. Pursued by foul foes with intentions most vile, he made a last stand on Ard Skellig's fair isle, fighting all the while. He arrived on her shores amidst sobs and balls, help a dragon yawn elven ruins crawls. Hefting his sword and ask for grass, he set up at once and slew the winged asp, smiling as it drew its last gasp. But fierce as fiends, his foes followed his path, hounding his footsteps, hearts brimful of wrath. At night they attacked using darkness as a shield, to no avail soon their own lives did they yield. 
My witcher's hand was much blood spilled. It is a witcher's right nature to guard men from beasts, and so Gerd's silver sword did not rust in his sheath. Instead, to clan Toothreak from Siren's defend, he forthwith to the caverns of Muslin did mend, and took the first step towards his end. And then Chronicles of Clan Toothbreak. Yarl, the Jarl and Witcher found, found, uh, fast found common tongue and soon were venturing on hunts together and hosting feasts at which there was no end to laughter nor bluster. When Jarl Torgir told Gerd the hideous Striga which prowled the ruins of Etnir, desecrating that once proud fortress, which in happier times had stood a steadfast guardian of the northern expanse of Arg Skellig, the Jarl's layman moved the Witcher, who announced he would slay said beast. Yet Witcher Gerd was a craftsman ever diligent and true, and so explained he first had to complete a prior contract and rid a cave on Spikarug of Sirens. And so the Jarl gave Gerd a full, pou full pouch of coin in the services of Olven, Orc's son, as a guide to safely Spikarug. And through danger grew fierce to fight the Siren of the Witcher's side. His heart filled with gratitude, Gerd entrusted an armor diagram to the Jarl, one he had long carried in Helmos Deer as a token of his sincere intent to return as soon as he had finished his allotted task. Which we just finished. Man, this place has a lot of ghost guardians. A lot of ghost guardians. Do y'all pay rent or do you just live here? Cleared this place out of spooky ghosts. And uh so we will double check down here. I think we've got everything. An idiot, I fell into that hole immediately. Day star. Ooh. Okay. Now we're good. Hopefully I can climb back up this way. Can I not? I have to go all the way back around? Oh, that's so dumb. Carol could easily reach that ledge. Oh, wrong room. on our quest up the mountain. Wish I could find some mistletoe. Ooh, ingot. Nice. No pigeon shat on that ledge. Geralt's like, I can't. I, it's not. It's not marked with bird crap. What do you want me to do? It's impossible. one goes to his death. Nay, no foreigner can traverse the path of warriors. Watch me. Do you live here? Since you were a jerk, I'm going to take all your stuff. Yeah, that wolf hiding that linen you had, it's mine now. What you get for being a jerk? Also, must not be much of a. But. Oh. No.
place of power. I love places of power. It's like my love language. Ingvar's Fang. A place of power. Twitch stream is a place of power? God, I wish, dude. Uh, I'm actually going to get the one that lets me carry more stuff. That's good to have if we ever need it. Trial of Dexterity Completion Token. Nice. Oh, there's a thing up here. Very cool. All right, ascend down to the cave entrance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Well, that was a cute little slide. That was fun. Oh, we got an achievement called Rad Steez, bro. Nice. I guess because we, like, surfed all the way down there. All right. Um, for this, we want... I have a decoction that is good for swimming. Hoglet, Basilisk, Gort, Forktail, Brave Hag, Ops Mold, Carrier Black, Earth Elemental, Necker Warrior, Wyvern, Leshen, Catechin, No, No, Carrier Full Moon, Nope. Arch Griffin? Nope. Al Ghoul? Nope. 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 What? Where is it? Killer Whale. There it is. I was like, I know I have some. I already saw a treasure down here. There it is. Goodness, quite the dive. Service before the end. No wonder. Gargoyles? Oh man. Now I'm excited. I love fighting elementals. Uh, gargoyle, gargoyle.
Zord, Geralt. The hell they can like bomb it? I like how he flew across the chamber at like a million miles an hour. Take all your gargoyle bits. Thank you very much. Surfaced for air, and they nabbed him. Nasty. Cool fight, though. I enjoy big bads like that. That's smarted though, I'll give it that. Kind of dark and light things up. That's better. Bandits. I don't think they're wor I don't think they're that I don't I don't think they're worthy of that honor, Geralt. Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, I think I missed it somehow. God damn it. Uh, it's okay. It's not a hard thing to fix. 
Not sure how I walked past whatever I needed. I just gotta, I just gotta find a travel post. <sighs> Massacre over here. But all of them, Jesus. Thunder. All right, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so we'll grab this, which we can use to go back up to the Fang, and then we can go back down to the cave real quick. But since there should be nothing in it, we should be able to. Uh, place of power. It's got to be. This way. Wait, no, not that way. Do this twice. Nearly there. Okay, then we just come over here and we go back down. Cave diving, I'm pretty sure, is like one of the most legitimately terrifying things that you can do. I don't know. I don't know if cave diving is worse or if um, what's 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 the sport called for the people that like crawl through caves and like it's like really, really narrow little things and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? It's belunking. Okay, so it should be right. Right. Oh, it's below me. What? Ah. And now we can go. Yeah, spelunking seems like just pure nightmare fuel. Geralt can't like turn on a dime. Like he has a bit of a delay when he turns around. Get me out of this cave. Okay.
I reached the end of the tunnel game. What are you, what are you on about? I don't know why he thinks I haven't reached the end of the cave, but whatever. Like, cause I know that like cave diving is much more dangerous. Like, you know, it doesn't take much to go wrong for you to just, you know, die <laughs> or go from being fine to being super not fine. But at the same time, it's like, at least it's quick, you know? If you screw up and you end up being in like a, oh no, I'm done situation. Like you drown and you're dead. Whereas every time I hear about those stories, people getting stuck in those caves, the like spelunking caves, that's like a whole nother demon. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. You bring news? Path of yours wasn't easy, but I managed to get to the end. Here's proof. First outlander to complete the trial, a feat worthy of respect. I'll make sure news of your deeds spreads across the five isles. Hooray! Grando swords. Path of the warrior complete. Knock out the races real quick. The races are like super easy. Pretty sure. Yeah, Nutty Putty is super famous. Have y'all seen the one? Have y'all seen the uh, the one done by Internet Historian? What's up, Odin? What is it? You're clearly a fighting man with many journeys need to your belt. I'm in need of your help. You see, it's me, Sonic. I'm worried. Left home a fortnight back and hasn't returned. Will you see what's become of him? Would you mind? Uh, give me money. Let's talk about my reward first. Let's see. I mean, you seem like a nice enough guy. I'll keep it pretty cheap. How about, um, 285? It's a lot. I need to borrow from kid. Would you have it? Won't spare no coin for me, boy. Where's kid? Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some robes from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some traitor. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. Cheerful lad. Bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him, he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you in advance, old man, because 99% of the time when I go looking for 